everybody, welcome back to another video with Lean Reviews. Now, if you are an Apple iPhone user, today is a very exciting day for you because iOS 16 has finally landed and is ready to download. So mine actually happened about last night, 12.30 a.m. when I was just playing a couple of games. Suddenly, I found that I have a new update to download and guess what? It was iOS 16. Downloaded it right away. It took me about two hours to install the entire thing and right now, my phone feels so fresh again. All right, so in terms of iOS 16, there are actually more than 100 different changes, big and small, but here are my top five new features or functions that I personally think will help you out a lot in your daily use. So without further ado, let's just jump to it and see these five features. Alright guys, so the first thing that I absolutely love about the new iOS 16 is in terms of the lock screen. Now, you guys already know this is the most popular one. Right now, you can really customize your lock screen to however you like it to be. Notice that we have these different columns here and this basically means you can customize each of these columns to show what kind of widget that you want. So I'm going to go for calendar for now. If I just tap on the clock here, notice that I can change the font, I can change the color and all that. But I'm going to just stick to transparent for now and I'm going to use this thick font here. Last but not least, you also have a final uh, section here for your widget you have multiple widgets in here and you can really choose what you want to show. So for me personally, I like to have my alarm and I also like to have my calendar to see what other events I have upcoming. And there you have it, you are good to go with your a new lock screen but for now for this particular one I'm just going to remove this because you know I don't want it like you know on the face on the forehead but yep remove that for now and also you can have different kind of effects by the way if you just swipe across you can see we have black and white we have color backdrop we have dual tone we also have this color wash effect again all of these are really cool looking and really elevates the kind of experience here one more thing is that if you do want to have my hair here for example the depth effect you can just tap on this button down here to either choose on or off if it's off, you can see the numbers of the clock fully, but if it's turned on, you will have this kind of depth effect which is really awesome and it will sort of like eat into the clock, which I think looks cool. So I'm just gonna put done for now uh, and set as wallpaper and there you go. All right, so the cool thing here about these lock screens is that you can create multiple lock screens so you can just swap them off whenever you want. For instance, I have this weather lock screen here. I also have astronomy. I have my own photo here if I want a very clean background. I also have multiple other stuff here and of course you have your emojis. Yeah, pretty cool stuff there in terms of the lock screen. But me personally, I really like this brand new effect here because just take a look at how it's done, guys. It looks excellent here. All right, so now that we've done the lock screen, the second thing that I absolutely love about iOS 16 is the fact that we now have our battery percentage at the top right corner. Not sure if you can see it. Let me just bring my phone nearer. Take a look at that, guys. We have 67% left of battery on my iPhone. Now, previously, where well, we did not have that, we always have to swipe down from the top and then we can see our battery. But now, the battery percentage is going to be showing the entire time. Now, one thing that I did hope, uh, or I do hope will be changed in the future is if we can see a battery capacity graphic over here. Because right now, you see that it's completely in white. Uh, the whole battery thing, whole battery graphic is actually filled up. And hopefully, next time, maybe we can have the graphic show how much battery we actually have left, if that makes any sense. Right, now the next thing, the third thing that I like about iOS 16 is of course, the fact that we now have haptic feedback for our keyboard. Again, let me just bring it closer to you. If you want to get this kind of haptic uh, feedback for your keyboard, all you need to do is go into your settings, search for keyboard feedback, and then you can just turn on the toggle for haptic. I think if you just go for haptic right here, you can actually turn off the sound. So whenever you go into your messages, for example, whenever you just type on the keyboard over here, you will have those kind of haptic feedback. It's a very mild kind of vibration, and I absolutely love that because it does give a bit of feedback so you know which key you are actually typing on. Not that that is actually an issue at all. But all right, that's the third thing. Now, let's move on to the fourth item here and that's all about notifications. So, I'm going to show you how notifications work right now. Previously, it was always dragged down from the top. Now, it's actually dragged up from the bottom and I love it because it's just so clean, guys. Look at this. It's so clean. I can just reduce all the notifications here and still have it turn up whenever I need it. So, again, very cool stuff here. Turn it up from the bottom. And if you do have music playing, for example, I'm going to show you guys a very quick example. Let's say I just go into Spotify. I click this button right here. You can see that in our lock screen now, we actually have the kind of uh, player ongoing. So, that's very nice. You can also change the background here to your kind of album art. And if you want to go back, just tap on any blank corner to go back into your own lock screen. Very cool. Alright, so moving back to the 
iOS 16, the final thing that I absolutely love about this here is in terms of the photo gallery. Now there's two things there that you can do in the photo gallery. The first thing is that you can now copy your edits. So for instance, I'm just going to go into this picture right here. I shot this the other day. Uh, you can actually edit this photo. So, so let's say I'm just going to adjust the exposure. I'm going to adjust the brilliance level and I'm going to hit done. Once I'm done that, I can go into this button over here, top right corner, click copy edits, go to my next photo for example, and I can just paste the edits over there and it will have the same effect as what I did previously. So that's the first thing about your photo gallery. The second thing which is even cooler guys is the fact that we can just, you know, long press on it and it will take just a second to crop out the object. So super cool there. I think this is really useful if you are doing a lot of productivity things on your phone. So for example, I can go into my PowerPoint. Uh, notice that I've actually cut a couple of things here already. All I need to do is tap on something here, click paste and I'll just allow paste and there we go. I'm already here guys. Super duper easy to cut and share. So I really like this because say for example, you have this, you see, let's take a look at this guys. I have already cut out four different images here and I have it all in my slide. Really nice kind of, you know, uh, transparent background kind of photo. Again, just to show you very quickly, it only takes one second. Come on guys, there you go, bam. It's ready, good to go to copy and share. So easy guys, that's my fifth favorite feature and actually one of my most favorite features of iOS 16. All right guys, so there you have it. Those are my top five favorite new features about iOS 16. Again, just to quickly recap, we have the brand new lock screen Screen. We have new ways of interacting with our notifications. We have the haptic feedback kind of a thing on the keyboard going on. We also have our battery percentage finally here. And last but not least, that really awesome and cool cut objects from your gallery kind of feature, which I think is just out of this world. One second, guys, to just scan, copy, and not paste it anywhere is just crazy good, guys. That's pretty much my quick look at iOS 16. Anyways, are you, you guys using an iPhone? Uh, leave a comment down below if you have a favorite feature. Definitely love to hear about that. Again, thank you for watching and stay until the end. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Don't forget to drop a like and sub if you like content like this as well. See you guys. Bye.